Welcome to Humber Library's Introduction to Vividata video. This video will take you through some of the key concepts and terms in Vividata. Vividata surveys over 40,000 Canadians on their consumption of over 3,500 products and services. The survey results include demographic and psychographic information, such as age, gender, and household status, as well as media, brand, and shopping preferences. You can use Vividata when your assignments require you to research Canadian consumption of a product or service, or the attitudes and motivations of a specific target market. You access the Vividata survey data by generating cross-tables. These cross-tables are customized to your specific research needs. You get to define your target market and select the questions you want to ask about them. The tables you generate can be downloaded as an Excel spreadsheet. We take you through the specifics of creating tables in a separate video. For now, let's look at some of the key terms and concepts in Vividata. The survey responses in Vividata are referred to as variables because the answers that respondents give to a question will change from person to person. The variables are grouped into categories. For example, the demographics category contains variables such as age, gender, and income. The personal and household products category contains variables related to the consumption of everyday items such as toothpaste, pain relievers, and makeup. The personal characteristics and views category contains variables that deal with consumer opinions and motivations, known as psychographics. You can find a summary of the variables within each category in the guide found on the User Support section of the Humber Library's Vividata page. The variables in Vividata are used to define your target market, the people who you want to find out more about. The variables are also used to define what it is you want to know about your target market. These are two important pieces of information you need to keep in mind when using Vividata. Who is it that I want to study, and what do I want to know about them? When you add variables to define who it is that you want to study, you are splitting up the survey respondents and isolating the specific group you want to know more about. By default, you start with all of the people who took part in the survey, but as you add variables, you split them up into smaller groups. That's why you will select the option Add as Split when choosing variables to define your target market. When you start building tables, splits form the columns of the table. When you define what it is that you want to know about your target market, you are using the variables as questions to ask about those people. That's why you will select the option Add as Question when choosing variables to define the information you are seeking. When you start table building, questions form the rows of the table. For example, let's say I want to research the hair care preferences of female millennials. I could define my target market by adding the variables of gender and age generation as a split to narrow my focus to the survey respondents who are both female and millennial. I could then add the variable labeled shampoo brands personally used as a question to ask about my target market. Alternatively, I could define my target market as the users of a specific brand of shampoo by adding the variable shampoo brands use most often as a split and then limiting the results to my brand. I could then find out more about those shampoo users by adding variables such as gender and age as questions. Please note that the more variables you add as splits or questions, then the larger your cross table will become, and large cross tables can be challenging to read and interpret. In summary, Vividata surveys Canadians on their consumption of products and services. The answers to the survey questions are represented by variables. To better understand consumers, you can build tables using variables as splits and questions. Thanks for watching Humber Library's brief introductory video to Vividata. To learn about how to start using this tool, please watch our other videos on creating and reading cross tables in Vividata.